Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Meta World. My city on PC using the brand new Boost Axe 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Meta World. My city and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen, thanks to Boost Axe 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Meta World, My City. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to start we need to open our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because there's a link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We ended up at this point on the site of Usatility, in which we get an in-depth explanation on how you can obtain Meta World, My City on laptop or computer. We search lower a little bit and then click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on this link, we reach the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will load to get access to the game Meta World, My City on our PC. As you can discover from here we have a number of advantages of preferring using the emulator. So we are ready to start downloading the Meta World, My City by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green color. Next step is clicking on this button. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It is a file to execute. What we have to do now is to run the executable file. OK, so we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the system. We said yes. I minimize the internet browser to start to see the installation software better. The installation software is straightforward. It is made up of two options, install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path really does. We only click it, and then we realize that we end up with here the path in which the emulator is going to be set up. If we prefer to modify this directory we have to click on this, browse, option, and now we choose another directory and set up the emulator where we wish. I will set it by default. Then, I click on back. Therefore I just click install. Fantastic. The setup commences and it's going to move forward together with the download of those megabytes that are represented on our computer screen. Once you save it on your hard drive, it may be slightly more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate will go faster or slower, based on your web access and according to the velocity of the emulator web servers. Right now they're working quite fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate eco mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator happens to be started on autopilot. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will move forward to the right so when it attains the end, the emulator is going to be started for the very first time. Indeed, the emulator is already started, here for the first time. Before we keep going, as can be seen, it created two icons right here on the PC desktop. The Blue Stacks and Blue Stacks Multi Instance. Note that the Blue Stacks icon is definitely the one we're considering. Anytime we need to run Meta World, My City on the PC, we twice click this particular icon and as a result start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we make the following step, which is actually a requirement, and that's to log on to the Google Play Store. And we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is started, at this point we must sign in. Presently the moment we're right here, we are required to perform the next step that is imperative. So that we simply click on, sign in. Presently it shows, checking info. It might occasionally get blocked in, checking info, and this fails to move ahead. In this case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a few hours and it may most likely be repaired. At this time we can provide our email address and password. The email has to be a Gmail email address and its related password. For instance you can utilize the very same email you are using right now in your own YouTube account. So I will type my information and I will return when I have completed it. Voila, information typed. Discover Google welcoming us and presenting us their terms of service. We should agree to them by simply clicking, I agree. Following that, 
it makes it possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it checked and this will produce a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started without need to open it manually and on autopilot. To set up the app game, we have got to visit the emulator desktop by left clicking that app icon marked in green. At this point that we are exploring the desktop of this emulator for Android, we can see that we come with here the install app button. We just click on that button. On this page we come with the Android game. How about we press there on the install choice that I am displaying now in green color. This action will launch the software setup. Presently it would download and install the video game. It will take a little while or perhaps it might well be extremely fast. It all depends on the internet connection. It's just ended installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by clicking this specific option that I'm presenting in green that allows you to run Meta World, my city for the first time. You are now on the emulator desktop, and then we're about to mouse click on this new Meta World, my city app icon that was provided. Your Android game is started for the first time. Currently there we get it. I'm able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to discuss the sound level of this emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This way we are not going to use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of the emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the greatest, we will switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. This one is actually the first one. We mouse click on this particular icon which I am actually mentioning in green color. Thus the monitor is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case that we choose to play the application using all the screen, we click this particular app icon. And as a consequence we would likely presently be experiencing the video game in 100% screen mode. To leave the 100% screen setting, click the F11 key. And thus we would certainly just end up being in regular computer screen setting. At this point, I am on the way to demonstrate to you the computer keys mapping that is actually rather cool. This means we may be ready to make use of the video game more easily. The very first thing is to press this application icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to complete the recommended configuration settings. I'm going to let the default configuration. However, if you really want to adjust it, you can do it with no problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is fully in our own language. On occasion it occurs that your emulator is launched in the erroneous language, as an example, in Chinese language. And as a consequence to place it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus there throughout many other options, we simply click on the language drop down. We may very well pick the language we like, Italian, Japanese, and so forth. After the language is selected, we would save, the emulator would reboot, and the Android game, next time we run it, would of course be in the chosen language. So now, you will find another point that we have to take into consideration, and it is that we will get an email indicating that a brand new electronic device has been associated with our Google account. It will check with us if we are the people who have connected that electronic device. Absolutely, we may not worry, since the emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. So you can determine which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated. We return here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Be sure to browse here to the model choice. And now we notice that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for our video tutorial. I believe you enjoyed it, particularly that you thought it was informative. If that is so, allow it a great like, subscribe, and if you have remarks, questions or ideas, let them in the comment area below. You may also leave comments on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams every once in a while, you get it below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Click on any of the online videos that happens to be appearing on the listing of videos to watch and see you in the future training videos. Bye.